Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Haven't had a video out in quite a while. We've been really busy at the moment um, with everyday life and everything going on around us. Um, so we haven't really done much driving nor made a lot of videos or anything. We we ride we still ride every weekend, but we haven't stayed uh, stayed away because we've been busy at home with a new cat, um, work work stuff like that so um, the videos have actually dried up in a way but um, this video that we will be doing today was our last trip which was in um, which was about a month ago that we went to Kouritz and the start of the video you are seeing um, a video of uh, a YouTube video that I issued about two two years and a bit back and it was August uh, 2022 when me and Monica went to this place, um, Pickervane, which we actually go quite often actually because it's almost like a home away from home when we do go there and um, the place has just been renovated. Um, the owner Renata has been good friends with Monica and they keep in contact whenever she's got an opening and uh, she knows we're from Oatsman, it's just around the corner, we, she'll always call us and then we'll take her up on her offer. We are we on the video. We are ready about um, the the trip from Oatsman to um, Horitz for us is around about 100 and I'd say r roughly 130 k's away uh, from Oatsman. So it's a quick ride. It's a nice it's a nice scenic ride, not too dangerous. Uh, just uh, maybe a 10 kilometer stretch to 15 kilometer stretch on the highway. It is a very dangerous part of the highway. A lot of trucks, a lot of dangerous um, traffic on that road. But um, after that, it's pretty, it's pretty um, easy to ride. And um, like I said, um, we, we actually go to Horus quite often. But strangely enough, in the past year, we've actually not gone once. And this is actually the first time we're going. And it's already so late in the year. It's August, which is, which is quite odd because we normally go to Horus about two, three times a, a year. Now the thing about Khairitz, it's actually been a very popular destination for motorbikers throughout the years. They even had a rally here called the Well Rally. But lately, um, the town's developed into some weird politics and it's like really, really a strange atmosphere. Not a very nice atmosphere going on at Khairitz at the moment. Um, as we found out on our uh, when we went there, we were actually quite shocked the way things have changed in a way there. Uh, it really really the opposite of what it used to be um for instance it all started we were um on a whatsapp group because we go there so often uh, we were added to a whatsapp group and um and suddenly one day we were taken off the whatsapp group and we found out somewhere along the line yeah but um the whatsapp group is only for residents from now on in and so on so okay we just took it like that with a pinch of salt so um that was already very odd and then um like i said when we actually um it when we actually arrived to this that uh, into this town uh from the get-go things were totally totally different to what the last time we were here and i mean i've been coming to harris for at least 30 years and nothing really ever changes yes you get new faces uh, you get a new new shop that opens here and there but the atmosphere uh, stays the same uh, just to like I mentioned about the well rally which was a motorbike rally that that was also suddenly stopped in this time that we haven't been here uh, for some or other reason um, the way I heard it is uh, some of the residents weren't happy with bikers coming to town and um, I mean that's, that's a lot of income they lo lose and it was always a, a point on the calendar for the year for, for motor bikers to attend this well rally because it's such a peaceful atmosphere, it's nice, it's got a nice caravan park um, where, where you can actually camp and so on so everyone looked forward to it and there where things already started to get funny well sounded funny to us
Is your bike not too upright, Miss Gun? Yeah. Is it? Okay, just hold my glass and put your center stand up or okay. just reverse your bike a bit more back. Is it the same guy that's always here? No. Yeah. So it's a right as on this park for a rookie. Was it the the bike stood for fun as I took a tilted? Why is the other man so? The four of men so. Is it yellow? Sorry? Lloyd. Lloyd? I I see the res a yellow pump and the restaurant to sign it. Oh. Oh, okay, that was must always that an hour with the vrouw and. Oh, no, that's right. That's right. All the yellow Okay, okay, okay. I see. No, I was. I, 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 I can't even see with brille. To say to my vrouw, there's no other sound to me. See, no, there's other people. He says the new owners of the restaurant people that own the pumps now. So we just pause a minute there and that was the first minute. We always, when we get into carriage, we always stop here because it's got a pub. We buy our liquor at the liquor store and any like the snacks at the shop. And we always sit at the restaurant and have like a starter or something, you know, just to uh, just to start our day. We'll have a beer or a savannah or something nice and light uh, with a, with a star, with, with like either calamari or a fish and chips or something light. Um, even maybe a schnitzel and um, from minute one when we got now there to this garage we, we the people that's been in the garage have been there for years hello hello <laughs> so I know it's good yet though well well we have to get a bit of no 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 it's alright we will not have we will not have a house we will not have a real and and drunk and then we will have a snack now we Hello, we are coming to dog. Good, thank you. Now this is the second one that started. I mean, um, well, you could actually see before we walked in here. You saw how empty the that mall was. And we're talking here. It's around about half past one on a Saturday. And um, whenever we've been there, there's always been a buzz of activity. I mean, that's almost like the centre of town. So you got the you got the people coming in and buying buying um, at the shop. You got people sitting at the restaurant watching sports, rugby, and stuff like that, having a drink. There's always, always activity and throughout the years. There's always been activity, but you could see when we parked our bikes um, and you saw how empty the whole parking lot was and how eerily quiet it is. Now, when it comes to this liquor store, this liquor store is owned by a guy from that used to be from Oatsburn and he has two liquor stores in Gerrits and both of them are totally empty. I mean, I'm telling you now, if there was, if there was 2,000 rands of stock, in the whole liquor store that was a lot and we asked what about the other one he says the other one's even less stock and we asked him but what's happening no no one knows no one's saying anything no one no it's like just a hush hush a situation so we were really quite taken back already just with that so um well we we got a uh, we got ourselves a bottle of wine grosser there was one grosser standing on a round table and i took a i took a quarter beer uh, a quarter a quarter beer and um and a bottle of whiskey uh, there was only four bottles of whiskey on the rack and we took one of the four the next stop that we did was the restaurant next door to the liquor store and when we got there that was also totally new owners no liquor license uh no lick no no bar so that was already very odd no one eating out at the restaurant it was totally empty there was so much there, there was so much there was waiters which never never was before like like this like was a very like up-class place but 
up class place with no customers in the first place right and it's with a with a diner atmosphere but um a strange diner atmosphere but the guy still came up to us and he told us yeah he's not the kind of guy that wants to sell fish and chips in a town like this he wants to do his thing yeah and his thing was like he told us his best friend was a chef at Santon or somewhere and he was visiting him so he's in the kitchen making food and he's got these waiters and stuff but the whole atmosphere was totally bad I mean and uh, and I mean when I say totally bad uh, it's not just m <laughs> it could, this must be going for quite a while because there's no c nobody's there so like um, I, I don't know I don't stay in Gouritz I'm off the I'm off the groups so I wouldn't know what the politics is but uh, but put it this way um, me and Monica, we just had a starter. Luckily, we could open our uh, bottle of wine and our beer that I'd bought her next door to enjoy with our food. But um, we just ordered a starter. So there wasn't much on the menu. Yes, there was pizza, I guess. That's, that's quick and easy that you can say yes, that, that, that stuff. But what, what there was on the menu was like sushi and weird, weird high-end stuff because just the little snack that me and Monica had as a starter costed us more than 400 nearly 500 rand and that's just for that's just for a starter and that does not include liquor so the the that that this place we were talking about I don't even know what the name used to be but but it used the locals used to come there watch rugby on um, they had a nice little pub going it was very civil this is very civil very 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 nice atmosphere but uh, yes and then you'd meet locals there and that's how they, and they were always the locals that were there were always very welcoming they always tell you what's going on in town and they make you feel welcome but the the atmosphere where was more of a business transaction taking place than a, than a hospitality um, um, being offered so to that that's weird and yeah that's what a that was really strange uh, thank you very much okay <laughs> wherever we go there's a cat <laughs> looking crazy and this is a beautiful cat got a cut of a tiger can you yo um can you the dinger sit yo the ice and sit sir oh the kakata You know what, eh, babes? His tail's also been cut. A, a little bit, yeah. If you look at his tail, the point is missing. Hello, Tonkins. Say, fun, sal Pukins, weers. Say, fun, gaan Pukins, weers. Okay, can you say pin from the stair? Yeah, it looks like no stairs. It doesn't make a point. Hey, put your ice in. And I can your bike scaver now. And your back pen here. You can't do your squid drawing. Yeah, I'm going to go to the back of the bus now. Well, wherever we go, there's always some kind of animal, a cat or a dog so on and um, in that conversation it was a bit of Afrikaans and English um, I, I always name my, I always give my animals surnames and this one I called um, his surname Pukins and I normally call my animals by their surname never by their full name so um, we, if I've got two dogs I'll most probably both have the same surname and uh, my cats all have different surnames at home so I've got like four four surnames for my cats and Two and one surname for the for the two dogs. From here we are a kilometre away uh, from the uh, Pukavain, the house that we're going to be staying in, 
and um, like I mentioned earlier the house is owned by I think these people they stay in a Transvaal Renata and a family and they've just renovated this house we've stayed at this house maybe over 10-15 times in the past so we know the house very well and um, we were quite inquisitive to see the renovations because the house for us was always very comfortable
is and with that I, I leave you guys for our <laughs> till we till we show you again our next video and like I said it was actually a very nice weekend um, the changes at uh, at uh, pick a vein I believe was nice it's it's very good it's 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 concentrated on the entertainment area it was really good it's got a full bouquet of the DSTV and uh, um, Argentina was playing in South Africa this weekend that we were that we were there unfortunately we lost but it was still a very entertaining game to watch and yeah um, if you are from Hauritz and you want to comment on some of the earlier stuff that I said about the atmosphere that just seems to be changing feel welcome I mean I'm not a resident there I wouldn't know the politics um, but it just um, I, I I love the place because of the beauty of the place and of the atmosphere of the place and like I said uh, the scent itself there, there was something really lacking but um, I'll leave you guys with the last piece of the video where um, uh, we were enjoying ourselves in the evening as well the game rugby game is going on and you can see we've had one or two too much and I'm doing a bit of a um, animation of my um, 30 frames per second uh, gaming PC that I sometimes play with and um, the, the the actions look like that so if you don't hear anything that's what's basically happening there it's one drink too much or maybe two drinks too much and 30 frames too little We'll catch you guys on the next video. Enjoy.